I <laughs> have kind of a long title. I'm the uh, uh, senior media and marketing strategist for STEM, and STEM uh, is uh, an acronym used a lot at, at universities. It stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, my primary focus is IT. So. Uh, what I really do, more than services here on campus, uh, I try to get people interested on a national level on what we're doing uh, within IT and then also related uh, sciences. So ITAP is Purdue's central computing area. Uh, and at Purdue, like a, a, lot of, a lot of universities, there's a central computing area, and then individual colleges also have uh, their own computing areas. Now, those all report up to the CIO at the university, the Chief Information Officer, who is uh, Dr. Terry McCartney. Uh, but the central IT group uh, does offer several student services. Uh, ITAP develops software uh, uses uh, an outside piece of software made by a company called Citrix. So it, it allows students to have access and use of software packages without having to purchase them or even download them on their computers. Okay. Uh, so uh, some of the software can be very expensive, uh, particularly on a college student's budget. Uh, some of these software packages cost thousands of dollars. But they're commonly used both in uh, professional environments and in uh, uh, student projects. So it could be something like uh, MATLAB, it could be uh, Photoshop or other parts of the Adobe Creative Suites. Uh, there's just a whole variety of software packages that are available there. And they, they run through a web interface. So like I said, the student doesn't actually have to install the software on their machine. Uh, they do have to install the Citrix uh, software, the client that, that makes this happen. Uh, but they, they don't have to pay for it. The licenses have been negotiated through Purdue, and so uh, anyone affiliated with Purdue, whether they're a student, faculty, staff, uh, they can use this software. Uh, it is a little bit slower. Since you're running over a web interface, you don't get the performance that you would if it was uh, installed directly on your hard drive. But for occasional use, it's a great uh, benefit. Uh, that's always been a weak spot with the services that a lot of people just don't know about it mm -hmm. uh, and how to really save the money. Uh, I know the, there is a communications group within ITAP, uh, I'm not a part of that, but uh, they do uh, information, for example, at like Boiler and Gold Rush, uh, and it's really uh, focused on freshmen coming in. I don't know that they do much uh, uh, every year, although they may do something in something like the back to school edition of the Exponent, such as an ad, but you know, that's so stuff full of stuff. Uh, it, it really is hard to get word out, and it's, it's particularly hard with students uh, because students' media habits are, are very fractured. Uh, you can't count on, for example, uh, most students reading the exponent each day in the same way that we can count on most Purdue employees reading the staff newsletter, e-newsletter, Purdue Today every day. Uh, so. Uh, so that is a, a, a challenge, uh, but honestly, we, didn't, we do need to do a better job at that uh, because it, it's a, a good service that can save students money. We have, we have several services like that, mm -hmm. and, and I don't think students are aware of them. ICAP is always looking for uh, good employees, uh, top-level students. There are about 
600 ICAP employees that, that varies year to year in, in you know, the situation. Uh, but we also have about 500 student employees uh, at any time. Uh, so that's a great way to start, is uh, to uh, come in as a student worker, uh, be a top performer. Uh, obviously, uh, we take a look at the uh, top students and, and think about offering them jobs full-time within uh, 